Russia continues to direct North Korean KN-23 ballistic missiles at Ukrainian cities. Last night, a missile with markings characteristic of North Korean missiles disintegrated over bravery, according to Defense Express. According to the agency, during today's attack on Kyiv, the enemy again used North Korean KN-23 ballistic missiles. North Korean missiles have previously disintegrated in mid-air during attacks. This was first noticed during the July 31st attack when a missile fell into a forest near Bila Sukva. This time, one of the KN-23 missiles fell on the outskirts of Bravery. The moment of its impact was captured on video and widely circulated online. The enemy missile fell in a forest near a highway, which was unlikely to be the intended target. It is noted that the impact site was located 20 kilometers from the center of Kyiv. The identification of the missile as KN-23 was confirmed by the found debris. Defense Express obtained photos of the wreckage with markings characteristic of North Korean missiles. Ukrainian military expert, pilot instructor, reserve colonel Roman Svitan noted on Channel 24, it is likely that the North Korean missiles are launched by North Korean engineers. Iskander is a precise missile and Korean missiles are far from precise. Fortunately, they have not yet hit any targets. Probably it is Korean engineers who launch these missiles, try to adjust them, conduct so-called tests in combat conditions. He explained, KN-23 missiles are short-range ballistic missiles developed by North Korea. Russia has repeatedly used them to strike peaceful Ukrainian cities. Their range is estimated at approximately 450 to 600 kilometers. These missiles can be equipped with both conventional and nuclear warheads. It is worth noting that in design and characteristics, they resemble Russian Iskander-M missiles, which Russia also uses in the war against Ukraine. Ukraine has received and successfully used some Martlet missiles since it first received them back in 2022, destroying Russian Orlan-10, Resay UAVs and other targets. According to the Kyiv Post media outlet, on June the 27th, 2022, servicemen of the 95th Separate Airborne Assault Brigade downed a Russian Ka-52 alligator helicopter with a Martlet missile. Great Britain has recently been training more Ukrainian servicemen to use the Martlet. This missile's main advantage is that it is multifunctional. It can effectively destroy both aerial and surface targets in a wide range of combat actions. It can be launched from various platforms, helicopters, ships or ground launchers. Notably, it is a very modern weapon. The first batch of 1,000 Martlet missiles ordered in 2013 became available in 2021. The UK government's recent £176 million order envisions not only the production of Martlet missiles, but also the modernization of the launching platforms, including anti-ship missile systems. There are also plans to arm the majority of the Royal Navy's Wildcat onboard multi-role helicopters with Martlet missiles. The Martlet measures a mere 1.3 meters in length and 76 millimeters in diameter and weighs 13 kilograms. One British anti-submarine helicopter can carry as many as 20 Martlets in one sortie and effectively destroy seaborne targets as well as helicopters and UAVs thanks to the modern fire control and targeting system. Flying at Mach 1.3 or 1,800 kilometers an hour, the Martlet can effectively destroy targets at ranges up to 9 kilometers. It is half the speed of Star Streak, but this gives it a number of advantages. One of the advantages is the longer effective range, 9 kilometers versus the Star Streak's 5 to 6 kilometers, as the Martlet spends less fuel per second. Another advantage is higher precision. Missile system operators know that at a relatively lower speed, it is easier to control a missile and guide it to a moving target. Having selected a surface or aerial target, the operator keeps it locked until the impact while the missile is guided by the laser from the launcher. The laser beam is controlled by the operator through a joystick and the launcher does not need to be moved. Given the increased production of Martlet missiles in the UK, those supplied to the Ukraine Defense Forces might be launched not only from ground platforms but also from MI8 and MI24 helicopters. 
Moreover, in order to save aircraft and crews that Ukraine is short of, Martelet missiles could be launched from UAVs. One more important advantage is the cost. The production of one Martelet costs around $30,000, which is cheaper than $60,000 to $80,000 per Igla-1 missile and greatly cheaper than almost $850,000 per German-produced missile from the Stinger FIM-92K Block 1.